Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a bit of an experiment. Someone suggested in my comments that I see what the mind of a grand champion could do to the ways of a player of a lower level. So for today, we're taking two gold players and giving them each a grand champion coach. I'm Tormac. I'm Trey. What's up, y'all? I'm Chispas. Uh, hey guys, I'm Javen. Here are the rules for the game. First, we'll have the two grand champion players 1v1 each other, and the winner of that match will pick their gold player to coach. Next, we'll have a one-game scrim between the two gold players to get a baseline of how they play and what to look out for when being assisted by their grand champion coach. Once that match is over, the gold players play a best of three 1v1 game and see if we can spot any changes or improvements as the grand champions whisper their words of wisdom during the game. Let's dive right into it! Just a quick reminder, if you're enjoying the unique content, make sure you're subscribed to not miss out on any new maps or game modes. Also, if you guys enjoy this concept, let me know by liking the video. And maybe what I'll do is, if we hit 8,000 likes before my next video, I'll continue this series up the ranks, next on to Platinum and so forth. If this series is welcomed, we'll revisit the lowest ranks at the end of the series. For today, however, we welcome two Grand Champions by the name of Cheese Pass and Javen. Let's see how these two handle the 1v1 battle. Oh yeah. Good luck, have fun. In a 1v1? Come on. <laughs> no fun allowed. <laughs> mm. Spicy 50 50s. I don't know who I've got my money on. <laughs> oh no. Oh, the boost miss. Oh, I miss Oh, it. but the miss as well. <laughs> the nerves are setting in. I'm a little nervous, yeah. Yeah, I'm a little. I'll, I'll, I'll admit to it. I'll admit to it. <laughs> oh, oh nice. Yeah, you're right. I wasn't really feeling a lot of pressure right there. <laughs> Just messing. Well played. Well, it's looking pretty even though. So I don't. I don't yeah. feel. Don't feel too caught in one v one. One one goal lead isn't the most uh, safe feeling. I feel oh. like that should be true for any game mode. That is, that is true. Actually, nowadays it's very true. Yeah. Although in, yeah, in RLCS, like one goal is like, oh, we lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Game over. It's like such a high skill level. Uh, the, the game is just so close. Like a lot of games go to overtime 0-0 zero, zero now. It's like bronze. <laughs> <laughs> Because bronze can't hit the ball half the time. <laughs> oh, I remember bronze. Bronze on Xbox is worse than just about anything. You're not wrong. It's actually mm -hmm. the reason why Rocket League doesn't like adding custom maps too much. Because, oh, what oh, a flick! flick. Uh, Thank you. Nice. They're afraid of uh, the new player base being too newbie to deal with, like, anything I mean, other than a flat. A valid concern. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> Nice 50. Do you feel like 1v1 is helpful? Oh yeah, definitely. Like once I like upped my 1v1 game, like I just became more confident with the ball like in twos and threes, so it definitely helped out my rank. Like, I don't know. Oh, oh good, good play 50. by Javen. Close. Should be open if he's not bronze. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, I say about 1v1s is true. It's just, they're not fun. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very tilting sometimes. They're like, you know. People don't like actually, to admit their own mistakes, that's for sure. I made it a goal of mine to play as much 1v1 as I could. Not necessarily for the skills alone, but because I wanted to practice the mental fortitude of a 1v1's player. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I think in that respect, uh, it is super helpful because it gets you used to being down and then coming back. That's yeah. my big advice for that. Yeah, I think it helps people keep, like, keep level-headed when they're down a goal. Because yeah, I, I know there's a lot of people that struggle with uh, getting one goal in the first 30 seconds and they hit the forfeit button. Or at least back when you could. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, caught out the turn there, the bait. <laughs> Oh, oh no. nice block, <laughs> close. Oh, I have no views for this. Up, You're not though. getting nine on me. No, there's no way. <laughs> no, get, three, get three, get three, get uh three. 
No! Oh, <laughs> no. Nice job. He actually like, landed uh, the ball right in the center. So Cheese Pass wins the 1v1, and he gets the deciding vote on which gold player he'd like to watch. Now on to the gold 1v1. The two gold players go by the name of Tormac and Vitre. Both players are quite new to the game, but their mechanics surprised me a bit down the line. Let's see how these two handle a 1v1 before any input from their grand champion coaches. And will Cheese Pass pick the more convincing winner of the match? Or try his best to help out the player that's struggling more? We'll have to wait and find out. These aren't your real settings, are they, Tormac? <laughs> they are. Oh my. Uh, I have to see this. <laughs> He's out in space right now. I, I, th I think I would be oh. a lot better if I used ball cam like, way more often, but... Yeah, Trey's camera settings are pretty far back too. Ooh. So, equal grounding maybe. Oh. <laughs> I feel like the camera, the camera is so Thank disgusted you. by the camera settings that it's like trying to escape <laughs> from the screen. <laughs> These are actually an improvement on mine. They used to be An improvement? <laughs> A slight improvement. What, was your car off the screen before? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh shit, not this again. Oh no! Two times. Oh, in a row. I stuttered at the end. So for the golds, what are your main playlists? Twos. I usually play season mode, and that is not a lie. Wait. Oh, wait. I'm what? Not lying. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that says something. I, I used to grind oh. season mode when I first got Rocket League. Well, back back when the when Rocket League first came out, I heard everyone was because the game exploded. They didn't expect that many players to come in. So the servers couldn't handle it, so most play players were playing season. Pogger. Oh no. Rip. Uh, so uh, so che Cheese Pass, you won, so who are you going for? Uh, I want to go for Tormek. Okay. Thanks, I'll pick Trey. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice, I mean, yeah. It's, uh... I, I believe in you, Trey, man. I could have picked yeah. anyone else. <laughs> yeah, man. So after just over a minute in, Cheese Pass decides to take the underdog Tormac under his wing. We'll see what he can do in the best of three and hopefully see some improvements with Tormac's gameplay. And that means Javen is paired with Vitre. Could this be the matchup needed to secure Trey's win after this scrim? Let's see how this plays out. So basically just threatening shots is what he's saying. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. Down. Not a problem. We always push past those. One goal yeah. is nothing in 1v1s. Yeah, if you go kickoffs or biggest priority. Nice. Yeah, get those little pads. Ah. Oh, I tried to. I got on the wrong side of the 50. Yeah, the other thing that I was going to comment um, is there's nothing wrong with your kickoffs, uh, but you sometimes lost kickoffs because you went for boost or didn't go directly to your goal when the ball yeah. was in a threatening position. Um, so this was really a great play. Nice bump. All right, here, work on, yeah, work on getting back, get that boost and then hurry up and get back to goal. Oh, I, yeah. I should have just cut across. Yeah, it was just it was just a slow recovery because you like hitting them and stuff, but that that could work out in the long run though, bumping them. But he just so happened to get a decent recovery from the bump. Yeah, just took that to the side, so it's not really midfield. Grab that boost, take it to the wall. Nice, slow down, slow down. You good? Oh, I can't get that. In. I should have scored. Yeah, right there. Try to try to work on getting ball cam back on because that's just a very difficult shot without ball cam. Nice. You're good, you're good. Just patience, patience. He ain't really doing anything with it. Let him throw the ball away to you. Uh, when the ball's in the air right there, try to get some ball cam on. Ball cam is your friend. It will help you out a lot in this. Oh, I turned the wrong way. Yeah, you've been keeping the pressure up a lot more this game. Um, you definitely look a lot more confident and have more accuracy. I was nervous the first game. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm with you. When I was playing, I was nervous too. Yeah, you can probably get that boost grab and then go for it. Open. Ah, uh, close one. Just You're fine. Nice. Open nets are the hardest shot in Rocket They League. are. Hey, you're good. You still have three and a half minutes left. You could easily come back. 
and take the lead by a lot. Just right there, instead of like following him, start to rotate back like down the middle of the field and grab those boost pads. There's like four boost pads you could grab there. Get that yeah, full boost. Bang it down. Nice. And yeah, that should Button. be in. Yeah. Yep. You're good. Nice shot. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. So I would say for those walls, um, Rocket League is a game of chances. And I'd say you had a 40% chance on that one, and the safer bet would have been to go back. Um, it's not pure chance, it's calculated chance, is kind of what I'm trying to say. Um, I get it. I'm used to having a teammate who would be back, so <laughs> yeah. it would be adjusting to. Um, there we go. Nice. We got this servers. Come on, Rocket League. Come on, Psionics. I'm on the wrong player. You get that corner boost, yeah? And then turn on it. Oh, wrong. Just try to get it out of there. Yeah, yeah, nice. Get around that ball, and then you have an opening net. Oof. You're all right. Bad you, still, you, still have, you still have control of it. You still have control. Look. All right, just get those pads in the middle. Make sure you can protect a shot. Oh. Yeah, that was a good shot. I think you could... Uh, I could tell that he didn't actually have control over that ball for a good long time. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something that takes a little more getting used to, but you could have challenged a little bit earlier. Um, you ended up winning the challenge, which is awesome. So it's not really a, a negative what you did. Um, just a oh. way to improve and increase through the ranks. Like that boost while you have the ball. There you go, nice. Nice, nice hit. Nice, see, and all you got to, oh. oh. The post. Oh no. Get that, yep. Oh no, that's going right in. No, you're, what oh the... wow, that's that's unfortunate. You get a nice 50, yeah, a nice 50, it's gonna come straight down right there. And you can maybe get a shot on it. Nice shot, oh, oh. it's just a good save. Nice turn on it though, you, you had a good turn on it to get a shot on goal. You can just keep getting shots on goals. He'll eventually miss one of them. There you go. Nice. You have time. You have time. You have time. You have time. Nice flick. He's got that down. Yeah, he really does. Um, that was a risky challenge. Yeah, I realized that after, which is my problem. Like, I, <laughs> I recognize my mistakes. It's just always after. Yeah. Nice kickoff win. Kind of fall back so you can protect your goal. See, now you can collect the ball and that boost. Nice, just control it, control it. Get it around him if you can. Oh, almost. Also, another thing I see is like, you, you use a lot of boosts like unnecessarily. Try to preserve that boost just like with flips and stuff. Cause like you'll use like 50 boosts to get to like, you know, like two pads, which will give you 24. So overall you're kind of just like losing boost. So kind of just like work on like, you know, get, like, give give a little boost so you get like some little speed and then you could like start flipping more to cover more ground on the field and then you're therefore you're saving boost. So when you get to the ball, you actually have boost to put into your shots and make the shots like more like more unsavable with more power onto it. It's looking like Tormac has a new confidence about him. He did admit that he was quite nervous in the first match, but he's looking like a whole new player. Can V-Train make a comeback? Yeah, but you still got two more games after, I mean, coming up that you could take the series with. So don't even worry about like the mistakes happening in the last game. Kind of just focus on this next one, winning that one. One thing I would suggest with camera settings is it, you don't need to switch starkly. Because um, it, it is really hard to get used to those huge changes. Mm -hmm. um, I would start changing one or two settings at a time, slowly getting to uh, something closer and getting a little more used to moving the right stick um, yeah. with less pressure. I should have challenged quicker on that. Yeah, on, on that wall, you had a lot of room to like just let the ball naturally fall down and then you could collect the ball there instead of like hitting it across and kind of giving the ball away. Honestly, it's just like... It, I don't know, improving in like, especially this rank, but just in any rank, in any playlist, it's really just being patient. Patient enough to like, just know when to hit the ball. Aww. Because yeah, I see like, 
you could kind of control it on that wall right there, you know, kind of like slow him down because he's very antic to like, he knows you're most likely going to hit it down and he wants to get the opportunity to, you know, get a pass from you to hit it in, but kind of just keep him waiting. And then you could collect the ball and then you'll be fine. Nice. Oh, close one. He's going to take that boost, try to get that mid and then turn on it. Nice ball cam. There you go. So I'm, I, I like to see. Aww. Collect that boost room. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Nice power side to get around it. Oh, just hit it across. Yeah, don't let him get it. Collect that boost if you can. Nice. Nice. Nice hit. Let's finish it. Nice. Nice. Good shot. Good control right there. You had him guessing a lot. He did. He did not know what you were gonna do with that ball, but that was a good shot. Yes. Yeah, just work on controlling the ball more. Don't let Don't let him get many touches. You know, make sure he just plays defense most of the time. Reduce his touches by increasing yours. Nice hit. Wait for it to hit the wall. Aww. You're good. Yeah, you still have time. You still have time. All right, straight, straight down the mid. Yeah, yeah, that was a good challenge, man. But just collect some boost pads so you have some something to save with. Oh, uh. dodge the double jumped. I need to get better at like timing jumps and stuff. Are you are you like used to playing with like no ball cam? Uh, yeah. Kind of like relying on the indicator, yeah. Like just for future reference, like, I mean, it, it's not gonna you know, you're not gonna be a pro at it right now, but. Honestly, increasing just the amount of times to hit hit ball ball cam is really gonna like make you improve like right there, like hitting the ball earlier so he can't get a shot on goal. He said everybody expects the power shot, so occasionally it's good to go for something else. Like right. hitting it right as it's about to bounce, not as it bounces, because then mm -hmm. you lose a lot of the power and so they go way over it. Can I just mention how you said that right when it happened? <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Literally, first hand example right as you're speaking. You're like, what are you, like a new commentator? I've never seen you in the pro scene, man. Try to try to get in front of that. Nice. Get in front of it again. Nice. Take that boost from him. He's boost starved, and now you could get a shot. Ah. Aww. Get that mid boost, then you turn on it. Oh, that's not. Oh, see, no, yeah, yeah, you're good, you're good. Nice. Nice patience right there. Really good patience right there. You have a lot of time to come back easily. Just, you know, just eat off his mistakes, you know, like. Yeah. Just eat off his mistakes. So I used to have really good game sense and rotation. And after I did those rings maps, I had stopped. Oh, nice. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Um. I had not played a lot of matches or anything, and it kind of, I kind of lost it a bit. But my car control was way, way better. That's mine. Ooh, easy pinch. Uh, yeah, but I was gonna so say is like, what makes a what makes a pro a pro, is that they're not just good at one thing; they're good at everything to be able to counter as many options as possible. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to be coaching, man. I'm saying too much. Yes, yeah, you're right there. Just you know, you you have time. Let the ball just fall, and you could collect it there. I'm instead bad. of hit, instead of just hitting it mid to him, it's it's basically giving away a pass because when once you hit it, you really can't collect yourselves in a good manner to get back enough to save it. So it's, it's it really comes down to keeping the ball as close as possible to yourself. I can do a speed flip. It's just I don't know how it's faster, but like. Yeah, I can tell you my experience. That was a man. You are getting these powerful shots. He is not reading. I like, practiced can... this for hours and hours and hours and hours. I have nine hundred hours. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you can tell his play style uh, isn't taking into consideration the bounces. And honestly, um, one thing I would recommend when you are just training is just get as many bounce um training packs mm -hmm. as you can because at higher levels that's really the killer um oh <laughs> uh, i know that there are still people who can't read off the backboard 
um, and they can't read off their own backboard either. So if you get any wall, ceiling, curve reads down, you're gonna beat a lot of people. Mm -hmm. If it's bouncing off the ground, for the most part, I can hit a power shot off of pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. So that comeback was huge. <laughs> yeah, you're looking really strong, Thormek. Uh, maybe it was the nerves at the start, but you're looking really consistent. Yeah. There's some really good power shots that are a little bit surprising, actually, um, in that ring. I could see you moving into Platinum quite soon. I mean, if you mm -hmm. if you transfer some of this into into 2v2 or 3v3. I think you look like a lot of the Diamond players I used to... That's what I've it. been told. I've been <laughs> told I could be Diamond 1, Diamond 2. And that's part of the thing, like... My biggest issue recently has been Game Sense. And so mm -hmm. just working on that, I've been getting better. So after that 2-0 sweep, Tormac takes the win in the best of three 1v1. So it's quite an interesting experience to see how the players reacted to the Grand Champion coaches. I think the input was greatly appreciated and both players learned quite a bit. I hope you guys enjoyed that a little bit of a different video on my channel. If you guys do like that kind of content, like I said before, if we hit 8,000 likes on this video before the next video comes out tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll upload a complete series of this with new players every time. But until next time, hope you guys have a great day and we'll catch you guys later.